Good evening, everyone. I am Clay Belfour, and we begin tonight with breaking news. An unprecedented tragedy unfolding in Nevada as emergency crews are sifting through the rubble after a government-issued aircraft has crash-landed in downtown Las Vegas. Dozens killed, hundreds injured, and that number is expected to climb. As one government official said, quote, civilian casualties could be enormous, end quote. Upon descent, a U.S. military C-123 prop plane initially struck the Hard Rock Hotel before smashing through trees and power poles, sending pieces of the aircraft in all directions. The plane eventually came to a stop inside the lobby of the Sands Hotel, but not before striking an unknown number of vehicles and countless pedestrians on the boulevard. Las Vegas firefighters are asking that non-essential personnel stay away from the area as they are battling multiple fires in what witnesses say looks like a war zone. Now we are hearing unconfirmed reports that the airplane was hijacked while being used by the FBI and other government agencies to transport convicts via the air. This may explain the military style attack helicopters trailing the C-123 upon its approach. It is unclear if the hijackers crashed the plane on purpose, but we are awaiting a press conference from the NTSB any moment. And we will stay on top of any new information as this fluid situation develops. A hotline has been set up for anyone trying to learn the status of their loved ones who may have been visiting the area around downtown Las Vegas and the Strip. Again, a massive airplane crash has hit the busy downtown area of Las Vegas, Nevada. We'll be right back.